do we put weight in things like a Grammy or no, the amount of number ones? I really try not to, and I'll tell you why. With all due respect to the Recording Academy, I respect them so greatly, and to Billboard, whom I also respect so greatly, I don't, I didn't come into this business being driven towards things like that. Like, I just wanted to sing. All I ever wanted to do was sing and write and perform and dance around and make music. I've loved singing my entire life. Since I was able to talk, I was able to sing. That's all I ever wanted. So I, I never really gave a I never wanted to do photo shoots. I never wanted to do red carpets. Hate it, hate it, hate it. All of Literally, <laughs> my pants, hate it. Every picture's ugly take me home I can't be here I just want to sing all I want to do is be in a room with the lights off and sing and that's all I've ever wanted um I'm honored to be acknowledged I'm honored to have had my first two number ones with my friends that are in this room it's very exciting it's very exciting when it happens it really is and I'm not going to pretend like it's not because it is and it's wonderful it's a really great feeling but I don't like that getting becoming something that's like of importance because it's not it doesn't make me any greater of an artist or lesser of an artist because all of my favorite albums don't have grammys all of my favorite artists didn't have grammys or number ones for actually i don't think any of my favorite artists have number ones except madonna yeah i was gonna say how many number ones does imogen heap have none yeah (laughs) The, I think the closest she came to it was because Jason Derulo featured Hide and Seek, <laughs> sampled Hide and Seek, and it that's like not even my favorite song of hers. Hide and Seek is one of my favorite songs in the world, but of hers, I, I love her whole entire discography equally. Number like one, even the songs she wrote for her baby Scout. Number ones in a Grammy doesn't make a good record or not. It doesn't. I don't think so because at home, as a viewer watching the Grammys every year, I'm always like, what? Literally. Every year, I'm like, what the f***? I always, I always am rooting for my favorite albums. Yeah. And I know that people at home feel the same way. And I know that when I win a Grammy one day, people at home are going to be like, man, f*** that album and her and her ponytail. So it's fine. I don't think it makes or breaks anything. I think that there, there is music that feels good to people, and there is music that doesn't. And I think that it's very nice to be honored by the Recording Academy, but I think that it's... Um, something that I don't want to be too, become too important to me. Because I, at the end of the day, my favorite music doesn't, none of, none of my favorite albums or songs or artists really have Grammys. There's a lot of people who put beyond a lot of weight on the Grammy. And a lot of the, a lot of people I know kind of, their career and their music weighs in the balance of if they're going to get a Grammy or not, or if they're going to get nominated or not. I kind of question why you do it then. Who? Why, not Wait, you, but I, no, who does it? people who people who feel like they need a Grammy or a nomination to continue. Of course, you get because what I'm it's a very it's a very please, it's a Grammy. It's a huge thing. I'm just saying I don't want it to be like the driving force in what I'm creating. But, I want my driving force in what I'm creating to be how it makes me feel, what is this gonna do for my soul, how is this gonna make other people feel and how when I'm 90 am I going to feel looking back on this am I going to wish I had sung that differently or is it you know that's really like I don't I don't want to go to begin with (laughs) I don't like going to things it's I don't oh my god it's the lead up my anxiety oh my god I know I can't handle it I can't handle it also I'm so bad at like red carpet 